Greetings and salutations, everyone. Um, this video response to Tristan. Um, I'm not really making this video response because of Ron Paul. The people that like Ron Paul will vote for Ron Paul. Um, people that won't, won't. That's all there is to it. And I um, hate to point it out again, but you don't even have a vote on the matter. So, um, See, there's a few things that I would like to point out. First of all, it's the gold standard. Yes, true that while banks won't have anything to be protected about, um, see, banks are institutions that um, incur that give out credit debt, mortgages, cars, everything else. So since this idea that you can pick this money out of the air, but in the form of credit. What occurs is everyone goes into debt because things get more expensive. Houses get more expensive, cars get more expensive because no one has to pay for them up front. They can just do a mortgage, they can get a loan for a car, they can do this, they can do that. You're right, I don't think banks should be bailed out. If you go and you take your money and put it in a bank and you lose your money, tough shit. But to protect banks, I shouldn't have to give... See, that's the thing, is that you're missing out a part of the equation. Is with the current infrastructure that we have now, part of our debt comes from the National Reserve. The National Reserve issues money at interest to the federal government. So the federal government owes money to the National Reserve. Right? Okay. Now where do they get that money from? Income taxes. So they take more money out of the economy to funnel to the National Reserve to pay for the money you see the cycle and that doesn't help the economy another thing let's move on Privata uh, privatization of um, education we spoke with that we spoke about that and in, in some messages um, the reason why I would support privatization of education is because I think the government indoctrinates people with their own ideas and everything instead of it just being uh, education. You know, it isn't uh, anymore, it's an indoctrination of their own ideas and things like that. Um, while in some cases this might be a good thing, other cases it might not be a good thing. Um, uh, the idea you know the biggest problem I have I would say with the uh, public education system is this um, idea of defiance um, our country was founded in my belief on defying authority and in the United States defiance will get you suspended Defiance can get you expelled. You have to be a good little cog in the machine and be like all the rest of the Tommy Tons. And by the way, I'm sorry, I ain't even done with my fucking coffee yet. You know, to be another fucking cog in the machine. That's all they're training you to be, essentially, is the unquestioning loyalty to whoever happens to wear a badge or has authority. And that's a problem. And I think that's a product of the reason why Americans today fucking sit, sit around and they're like, oh, I hate Bush. Um, oh, this war in Iraq, shitty. But nobody wants to do a fucking thing about it. Because they've been conditioned. In some ways, the same way that theists have been conditioned. Um... And we also spoke about how you would um, standardize that. You would just do testing and you know see if they have the type of information that you would um, 
require from a person and then you make that a standard uh, we there's standardized testing that is privatized um, like CompTIA uh, things like that um, industry standards um, and you just create one of those um, you could do it by the government or whatever <clears throat> it wouldn't require they, because that way the government wouldn't have it. I mean, it might not even be a good idea. Uh, one of the things you have to understand about when it comes to ideas that president candidates say, presidential candidates say, is that all of them won't ever come to pass. They're just those person's ideas. The reason why I support Ron Paul is because at least he brings new ideas to the table. He's not saying bullshit like, Oh, I think gay marriage should be legal. I think gay marriage should be illegal. I think abortion is bad. I think people have the right to choose. <laughs> you know, it, it's he's bringing something different to the table. Even if they're not all great ideas, they're still bringing it to the table. Uh, another thing is the immigration issue. Uh, first of all, um, you made the point of that maybe we should make it so immigrants can immigrate into this country. We already do that. Um, actually, I believe the quotas for from Latin America are greater than the quotas from anywhere else in the world. Uh, yeah. We've already made it easier for people that want to immigrate from Latin America to immigrate. I agree with you on the national language. I think we should institute English as a national language. And I think people that come here should be required to learn it. However, your idea that if we waited too long... The reason why we have so many immigrants right now is because they were given amnesty ones. And... The logic behind it was that, um, you know, by the people that come have came afterwards, is that we'll just declare amnesty again. So they don't bother to immigrate. They don't bother to um, integrate into our culture because they they're not here to be Americans. They're here for jobs. They're here to use the country like a whore. And then when they are done, when they go to retire, they go back to Mexico. Or they raise... That was one of the things Vicente Fox said about immigration is that um, when you go and work in the United States, send your money home, what you can, and then when you come to retire, go home. Yeah, come back home. So that's the reason why they don't care. Um, and sending them out of the country, doing what the law states we're supposed to do with illegal immigrants they're illegal immigrants they're criminals um, they're supposed to be sent away what other criminals do we go with, go and say oh it's okay because you're just you know you're just disadvantaged you know so we're not going to charge you have a nice day be, be along your way if we, if we did it to you we'd have to do it to everybody and yeah, you know what? If um, we actually did it from the standpoint of um, kicking the illegals out of the country, yeah, there would be a um, labor issue. You know what happens in labor issues when the the pool of jobs goes down? The ra wages go up because of competition for the workers in the worker pool. So it would only benefit the American people to do that. I'm part of the first generation that has a lower standard of living than my parents. Do you think that contributed at all to it? Then be able to pay us fucking no next to nothing because we have to compete with people that are willing to work less, uh, work for less. And this isn't an immigration issue. I have no problem with immigrants that want to come to this country. There are legal ways to do it. But we cannot... That's the reason why we have quotas. I'm running out of time. That's the reason why we have quotas. We have quotas because 
We can only absorb so many people at a time and keep things stable. We're way overdue. We're, we're way over it now. And I think our economy and I think the people are feeling it. And just ignoring the problem and saying, ah, screw it, just let them do whatever they want to do isn't going to help. It's just going to make things worse. But then again, hey, maybe you guys are the next big dogs, huh? Have a nice day, everyone. And true fucking first. It's that, um, incur that give out credit debt. Mortgages, cars, everything else. So, since this idea that a few things that I would like to point out, first of all, it's the gold standard. Yes, true, that while banks won't have anything to be protected about, um, see, banks are institutions. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Um, this video response to Tristan. Um, I'm not really making this video response because of Ron Paul. The people that like Ron Paul will vote for Ron Paul. Um, people that won't, won't. That's all there is to it. And um, hate to point it out again, but you don't even have a vote on the matter, so. Um. See, there's a f you can pick this money out of the air, but in the form of credit, what occurs is everyone goes into debt because things get more expensive.